It's day two of 2009 Overland Expo. From Prescott, Arizona, this is Bill Green. Today we spoke with ARB, Adventure Trailers, and Unicat Americas to see what's new and what's exciting in the Overland world. We're here with Mario Donovan from Adventure Trailers. Mario, what is this? This is uh, fiberthane. This is a uh, foam and uh, fiberglass composite. Mm -hmm. It's uh, coated with uh, Linex and it is super light. Weighs a little over a pound per square foot. You can beat it with a hammer, it comes back. It has an insulative quality. It's really nice to work with. It makes stout boxes, trailers. It's used a lot in the boat building industry for bulkheads in, uh, in uh, sailing boats. Mm -hmm. So we started using this for, first for composite drawer systems to be used in uh, the backs of vehicles. What's nice about this stuff is that you can use a building technology that allows you to ship panels flat, mm -hmm. and that cuts down on shipping costs. So that's what that is. And is it used in this trailer here? Yes, it's used in our new uh, Trek trailer. Um, the uh, Trek trailer was designed with uh, disabled access in mind, and in order to do that, you have to have components that are lightweight that somebody in a wheelchair can easily manipulate. This trailer looks like a a pretty significant departure from from your traditional adventure trailers, from yes. the Horizon and from the Chaser. This is following an Australian concept of a fold open trailer design, and it's similar to a rooftop tent that when you open it up, you double the living space that's inside. However, we have made the, uh, the bed the full length of the, the trailer so that when you open it up, you get a full living space. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a problem with rooftop tents when you're in bad weather. You don't have a place to hide out when the weather goes bad. You're stuck inside a small tent. Well, this actually gives you an entire stand-up room area where you can be on the inside. And uh, you can put a couple of tables or chairs or other people could sleep inside here. It's uh, quite roomy. Um, we've also set this up so that we can put in uh, heating systems to keep the, the interior area warm. We're able to put in a full-size, nice, thick mattress, so you've got a, a level of comfort that you don't get in a rooftop tent. Right, we're here with Lisa Wood, Marketing Manager for ARB, and we're standing in front of the new ARB uh, Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. Tell me a little bit about, about the vehicle. Well, in this vehicle in particular, we do a lot of different things. We've done this rear bumper with incorporated trailer hitch. We also have done the rock sliders, and the front bull bar is sort of one of our uh, flagship products. It has an integrated winch location, lights. There are also tabs up here for CB antennas. Let's take a look at the uh, rooftop tent. It has some features that, that look to be different than a lot of other rooftop tents on the market, particularly this little flap here too. Uh, looks like it's kind of keep you dry from when it's raining, when you're going Ultimately, in and out. Ultimately, it's, it's to prevent uh, the rain from coming in through the door. Mm -hmm. It's also to give you a little bit of privacy when you're backing out of the ladder. And there's an annex that can zip onto that so you can add a whole uh, secondary room to the base so you can have a dressing room or have two people sleep at the base of the ladder. Now one of the things we have here is the new ARB 50 liter fridge. What can you tell us about that? Uh, this is a completely new design. Uh, this is ARB's uh, our own design. We tried to take our original fridge which was manufactured by Sao Fuji and we wanted to add in all of the features and benefits that didn't exist on that fridge. So we have moved the control panel so that it's in a location where it can't be bumped or knocked around where the other one could accidentally be set to freeze if you knocked it. And so these are just, and they're in a more usable location at the front of the fridge where your hand is going to be most easy to reach. You have digital temperature controls. You can move them up and down uh, depending on what you happen to have in there. We're here with Avi Myers and Avi, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, as you said, my name is Avi Myers. I live in Palo Alto, California. And a couple of years ago, I decided that uh, I wanted to purchase a Unicat. And at the time, the units were not available on the US market. So I approached Unicat and asked them if they'd be willing to uh, build a vehicle for me on a US legal chassis. They kindly agreed to do so. And that's how we started and uh, decided to continue and pursue uh, the idea of making these units available for everybody else in the US. And I wanted to be able to take this vehicle for extended trips abroad, whether it's to cross the Sahara, the Australian Outback, the Gobi Desert, and that's what this vehicle enables you to do. 
It's got a 2,000 mile range and it enables you to take whatever toys or hobby you happen to be into and go wherever I want for as long as I want and live very comfortably, safely, and have the off-road capability that this vehicle offers. Well, that wraps up day two. We'll be back tomorrow with more coverage from Overland Expo 2009.